Hey everybody, my name is Lin. I'm an RN. You click on this video, I assume you're a nursing student. I bet you still remember the time you applied for nursing program. You finished all your prerequisites. Most of them are A's, a couple B's, definitely no C. Your 3.8 GPA is the average grade that made you get into the nursing program. You feel so excited, and at the same time, you feel secure. You think you finally get into the nursing program and you earn your seat in the whole nursing program so you don't have to work hard anymore? Well, don't be that naive because you're not secure at all. Most of the nursing programs do eliminate students even after they got accepted and they only allow you to fail once in the entire program. If you do fail, you get to put on the probation list for one year. You may be able to come back if you raise your GPA by taking other pointless classes. It wastes off your time and money. So you do need to work harder to pass your nursing exam. That's why you need my help. You need a little bit of help from my channel, Link's Daily NCLEX Question. This video is about Parkinson's disease. What is the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's disease? Pill, rolling hands, hunchback, increasing tremor, and small shuffling gains. Alright, let's hit the questions. You're teaching a patient with Parkinson's how to prevent worsening of the stooped posture. To prevent spinal fracture, you should tell the patient to A. Sleep on either side but keep back straight or B. Sleep only in dorsal recumbent position C. Rest in supine position while his head elevated or D. Periodically lie prone with a neck pillow Let's see option A. It says keep back straight. It's not very realistic because you move around when you're sleeping. And option B says dorsal recumbent position. This position is lay prime with leg flagged. So this position has nothing to do with the spine. And C. It says supine position with the head elevating. This position only made the uh, stoop posture and then spinal flexion worse. So the right answer is D. Question number two. You perform a pull test on a patient with suspected Parkinson's disease. You stand behind the patient and give a talk backward on the shoulder. What will the patient's reaction if he has Parkinson's disease? A. Lose balance and sit down. B. Lose balance and fall forward. C. Lose balance and fall backward. Or D. Lose balance and become unconsciousness. The answer is C. Lose balance and fall backward. This reaction indicates posture instability. It's very common in Parkinson's disease. Which nursing diagnosis takes highest priority for a patient with Parkinson's crisis? A. Imbalanced nutrition or B. Ineffective airway clearance C. Impaired urinary elimination or D. Risk for fall The answer in here is B. Because patient with Parkinson's disease their swallow mechanism has changed. It contributes to a longer swallowing time and impairments in the effective clearance of the airway. And also, the question is a priority question. You have to always think about your ABCs. Airway, bleeding, um, sorry, airway, breathing, and circulation. Question number four. Carbidopa is useful because it has what effect on levodopa? A. Increasing entrance to central nervous system B. Increase potassium in cell C. Decrease half-life or D. Increase bioavailability There is a medication for Parkinson's disease that's a combined medication for levodopa and carbidopa. 
The inside in here is D. Levodopa increases dopamine available in patient's brain. This drug can cross the blood-brain barrier, and the carbidopa combines with levodopa. It prevents peripheral levodopa goes to peripheral system, make levodopa more available in the central nervous system. Question number five: Which of the following are side effects of levodopa carbidopa? This drug is the drug we were talking about in question number four, and also we call it cinnamut. Select all to apply. A. Coronary aneurysm. B. Orthostatic hypotension. Or C. Protein deficiency. D. Corneal cloudiness. Or E. Brown color urine. The correct answer is B. Orthostatic hypotension. We really don't know the reasons why cinnamon can cause orthostatic hypotension, but if the patients drink more water and add more sodiums in their diet, it can actually increase the hypotension. And also, E, brown color urine, also another side effect of this drug. Um, but this one is a really benign side effect. The patients really don't need to worry too much about the、uh, brownish of the urine. Besides the urine, and also their sweat can also become brownish color as well. Which anti-Parkinsonian drug can cause drug tolerance or toxicity for too long at one time? A. Selangelin or B. Levodopa, carbidopa, C. Amantadine. Or D, anti-capom. The answer in here is B, levodopa, carbidopa. Long-term therapy with this drug can result in a drug tolerance or toxicity, or decrease the effectiveness. So this drug need to take a drug vacation and also call on-off phenomenal. And、um, A, selangelin. This one is to decrease dopamine breakdown. And C, amantadine. This drug is actually an antivirus medication. It used to decrease extrapyramidal side effect. And D, and tacopone. This drug is to prolong levodopa carbidopa's action. Seven. A patient is admitted with Parkinson's disease, and the patient's face is expressionless. And the patient's speech is monotone. Which of the following observations by the nurse is most accurate? A. The patient is depressed and should be left alone. Or B. Those symptoms are common for Parkinson's disease. C. The patient has dementia. Or D. The patient has drug toxicity. The right answer in here is option B. Those are actually very normal for Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is caused by degeneration of substantia nigra in the basal ganglia of the brain. Where dopamine is produced and stored, this degeneration results in motor dysfunction, result in symptoms such as expressionless the face and the monotones of the speech. You should recognize those symptoms are very common for Parkinson's disease, so it does not indicate it for、um, depression or、um, dementia or drug toxicity. Question number eight. You observe that a patient with Parkinson's disease unbuttons his pants. His upper arm tremor disappears. Which statement best guides your analysis of this observation? A. The tremor disappears when the patient's attention is diverted by other activity. Or B. It's just a chance occurrence. C. The tremors are psychological and can be easily controlled at will. Or D. The tremors sometimes disappear with purposeful and voluntary movement. A. Tremors cannot be reduced by distracting the patient. And B and C. Parkinson patient tremors are not psychologically, but are related to decreased dopamine. D is the correct answer. Voluntary and purposeful movement often temporarily reduce or stop the tremor. 
Getting dressed requires both fine and gross motor skills, especially for Parkinson's patients. They will feel this task is very complex and frustrating. Question number nine: You are caring for a patient who is newly diagnosed with Parkinson's disease who is receiving the anti-Parkinson's disease medication levodopa. Which interventions should you implement? Select、so、order apply. A. Instruct the patient to rise slowly from a sitting or laying position. Or B. Teach about on and off effects of this medication. C. Discuss taking the medication with meal high with protein. Or D. Discuss taking the medication with multivitamin supplements. E. Telling the patient that the sweat and urine may become darker. F. Inform the patient that the medication will cure Parkinson's. Let's go back to see option A. It says the patient should rise slowly from a sitting or laying position. One of the common side effects for levodopa is orthostatic hypotension. So A should is the right answer. Parkinson's disease. B is also the right answer. Remember that we have talked about the drug holiday in question eight. And C says you should take the medication with high protein diet. Patient will feel reduced effectiveness of levodopa in the presence of the food with high protein content. This may make the symptom of Parkinson's disease worse. So C is not the correct answer. D says multivitamin supplements. Here you should think about vitamin B six right away. Vitamin B six decreases the effectiveness of levodopa, resulting in less levodopa available for the patient to use. So D in here is the wrong answer. And E, urine and sweat become darker. It is a common side effect for levodopa. So E is also the correct answer. So, F says this medication will cure Parkinson disease. Parkinson disease has no cure. So the correct answer is A, B, and E.